afternoon, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. Today, I'm going to get to the point on a very curious subject, curiosity itself. Curiosity is the secret to a bigger life, yet it has a bad rap. It is also one of the most reliable and overlooked keys to happiness. That's because curiosity is a state of genuine interest in something, a state of openness, a state of mind that lays the groundwork for greater opportunities. Curiosity is not exactly promoted in our society, even though it's one of the basic ways that we can achieve happiness. Curiosity takes a backseat to concepts like creativity and innovation, even though it is the mother of creativity and the father of innovation. That is due to this notion that curiosity can get you in trouble. This notion begins with the very first story in the most important book of our Western civilization, the Bible. The story of Adam and Eve is the story of how Eve's curiosity got the best of her and she ate of the forbidden fruit. Then she enticed Adam to eat of the forbidden fruit and they both got in trouble and got kicked out of the Garden of Eden, which was paradise. Now Adam and Eve have to grow all their own food, provide all their own shelter. So it's no wonder that we have curiosity with a bad rap in our culture here. And as a result, there are sayings like curiosity killed the cat. However, nothing could be further from the truth. Actually, curiosity is a basic human instinct that helped us evolve over the millennia. Without our curiosity, we never would have found better ways to find food or hunt food or gather food or ways to grow food, find of ways to make tools to put in our hands, ways to tame animals. So curiosity gave us that edge. It increased our odds for survival. Therefore, over the many thousands of years that we evolved, curiosity has become a part of our DNA. So much so that it is linked to the brain's reward and pleasure center. Can curiosity get us in trouble? Of course it can. Anything that's linked to the brain's reward and pleasure center can probably get us in trouble. Too much of anything is still no good. So, curiosity must always be balanced with common sense and logic. There have been many thousands of studies by scientists on what makes us humans happy. In recent years, these studies and polls are beginning to explain how curiosity plays into our ability for happiness. I found several studies that indicate there is a connection between curiosity, health, intelligence, and happiness. Curiosity has been of interest to me long before I joined Toastmasters. Curiosity has been my mainstay, my most important resource, a big source of motivation in my own life. I attribute much of my success and happiness to my own curiosity. Curiosity is the reason I joined Toastmasters. I am curious, can I ever get over my fear of public speaking? I'm curious, what does it feel like to deliver a good speech? In my research, I found Brian Grazer in his book, A Curious Mind, The Secret to a Bigger Life. Brian Grazer is a wildly successful Hollywood producer uh, who has been nominated for 158 Emmys and 43 Academy Awards his friend, Ron Howard, and he started Imagine Entertainment, and they produce a lot of movies and shows you, I'm sure, watched. Um, in his book, he explains why he attributes his own success to curiosity. His curiosity led him to always ask questions of everyone he met. Often the right questions led to open doors in his success path to being a successful producer. Brian made it a point to maintain his curiosity, not only about people, but different ways of storytelling through movies and TV. He and Ron Howard have revolutionized movie making and set the standard of quality. Brian and I both attribute our happiness and success on being curious. 
we both think that if the concept of curiosity were more a part of our culture and our educational system, the world would be a better, happier place. Curiosity is a basic human instinct. It is why we find putting a puzzle together much more satisfying than looking at it when it's done. Curiosity is at the root of many things. Curiosity is often a catalyst for change. Curiosity can also give your life more meaning. That is because curiosity and passion have a symbiotic relationship. When you're passionate about something, it naturally renders you more curious to know as much as you can about it. It also works the other way around. When we are curious, we see things differently. We use our powers of observation more fully. We sense what is happening in the present moment, taking note of what is, regardless of what it looked like before or even what we expected. In conclusion, the curious thing about life is that the, curio the more curiosity we have, the better our chances for success and happiness.